So you have a home loan right now, and uh, Siju, you are paying Siju what? Siju is close to Siju what? 20% Siju what? Because Siju Bank, Siju because has sent you in an email, Siju because, because you have to review, because, and you're wondering, now these people, what's wrong with them? I have a relationship with them, I'm going to be paying for this home loan for the next 25 years. What's mm. the problem? Or you are thinking of taking up a home loan and wondering, how do I get to talk to a bank about a home loan and it's a 16%, 18%? And I don't even know whether it's going to get to 25%. Huh? Mm. Stambika telling you, just make the switch, my friend. Because as guys, ours fixed at what point? 9.5. Imagine. For understand. up to 25 years. We want to understand how this is working. And that's why our next guest is from Stambik. Hey, hey. And also she'll tell us about winning money. Mm. How much? One million. <laughs> <laughs> One million sharing. I'm telling you. Kenya money. Imagine, task, hey, task, task. and all you need to do is just tell City, be like City, be like City, put open 50K in your a account. bank account in Stanbic. Yeah, activate it, make sure that it has at least 50,000 shillings. That's it in your current account, or direct your salary into that, mm. or open a savings account and at least put 50k into it, and you get into a draw. You could win a million shillings. Ah. First person win a million shillings, next person 500,000, person after that 300,000. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nelway Daka is the head of products at personal and private banking at Stanbic Bank Kenya. She's our guest for the next hour. Nelly, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very well. So CT wants the five fifty thousand shillings so that he can deposit in his accounts. You can lend him. <laughs> then <laughs> then <laughs> when he gets the million you pay. When back. he gets the win million. <laughs> and after all, <laughs> the fifty thousand you give me, I'll just be putting back into the bank into mm. the account which is with Stanbic. Mm. <laughs> yeah. In the back to our yeah. yes. And then in interest on it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So, <laughs> but any of 50, I love what she did. Accounting in Billy. Accounting in Billy. Yes. I love what she did. So, we cut it to direct. I can one million, but nine hundred. And fifty, you one hundred, mubaki. I'm cutting the interest. Yeah, at a moment, I do Yes. For this whole, you know, mm. for your bit. trouble. Okwak, okwak. Here eight sixty. You know, sir. You in Guinea? Take what you are That's a conversation you can have. But welcome to Kenya's biggest conversation. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Good to have you here. We're going to learn a lot about um, what Stanbic is doing and why you are encouraging people to make the switch and what the advantages will be for making the switch. City? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, our proverbs for the whole of this week come from the Republic of Zambia. Today's bush is tomorrow's forest. Today's bush is tomorrow's forest. Nelly, how would you interpret this proverb? Oh, well, that's an interesting one. Um, I think I'd interpret it in terms of starting small and seeing the opportunity to grow. And it's actually in all areas. So I like that you started out with uh, money does not grow on trees. It's a common perception that people have. Yeah. But you do need to start small. I think people also say, Haba, Haba, Hujazaki, Baba. It does speak to the proverb that has just been mentioned. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. And if you put a bush today in your Stanbic savings account mm -hmm. tomorrow it will be a, a forest, forest. Mm. Hey. no nice you link are you some <laughs> but, but you know people have seen stanbic but people do not maybe know the history of stanbic who stanbic is what stanbic stands for what is stanbic bank so stanbic bank is a member of standard bank group we are the largest bank in africa we have been in operation for over 160 years. In Kenya, we have been in operation from 1902. Yeah. Yes. In nine, Kenya? Yes, we have been in operation for over 160 years. In the wow. Yeah. Did you know that, city? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that's why you opened their account. You <laughs> <laughs> have to be in good company. Yeah. <laughs> the, the age. To <laughs> hang out with my peers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's some good heritage. Okay. And how many branches do you have in the country? I mean, what's, and what's your um, main market focus? Are you in the mass market? Are you looking at retail, a lot of retail, or are you big on corporate banking? Okay. So we have over 20 branches cut across um, the entire of Kenya. Um, we've got branches in Nairobi. We have branches in the Rift, in Coast, in Kisumu. 
Um, in terms of the clients that we focus on, we have solutions that touch across all customer groups. So you did mention main market. We do serve customers in the main market segment. We also serve customers who we call the executive banking customers. So these are customers who typically earn between 50,000 and 150,000 shillings. Then we also have the affluent space, which is private banking. And in this space, we serve customers earning between 450,000 all the way up to over a million shillings. We also have a profile of wealth customers, which we call wealth and investment. In this space, we serve customers with net investable assets of over $1 million. Are you in tier one, two, three? We are a tier one bank. Of course, you're old yes. enough to be tier one, <laughs> right? And what does tier one, tier two mean, City? If they came in the 19, <laughs> they probably invented the term tier, mm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You are the first tier one <laughs> bank in Kenya. <laughs> so it's it's basically, it, it goes into the heritage of the bank. They also look at the book quality, the asset quality that you have as a bank, the liabilities that you hold, and also the profitability of the bank. I see. Big things. Mm -hmm. Now there's a campaign that um, you're rolling out right now, which you're telling people switch and make the switch to stand big. Tell us about that campaign. Okay, so we are um, running an exciting campaign. It's dubbed the Switch Campaign. Um, our purpose as Tanbik Bank is Kenya is our home. We drive her growth. We've got solutions that cut across all income brackets for Kenyans. Um, the solutions that we have actually classified into four buckets. So we've got solutions that help you transact. We also have solutions that help you borrow. I think at this point I do need to mention that we recently won the best bank to borrow from award from Think Business. So I will speak more on why borrow from Stanbic Bank. We also have solutions that enable our customers to ensure and protect the things that are of value to them. And the fourth pillar is where we enable our customers to also grow their wealth, which is what you were talking about in terms of how do we grow your savings and investments. Mm. Do. Why do you decide to do this now? Why switch is because we are of the view that the solutions we have in the market actually speak to the needs that the customer have. Mm -hmm. So if I speak on the first pillar, say um, enabling customers to transact, we now have a digital onboarding tool. So our customers only need to log into our website. You need your ID mm -hmm. and a passport photo or a phone that can take a selfie. Mm -hmm. With that, you'll be able to open a transactional account with Stanbic Bank. The proposition that we have is when you log in, as he mentioned in terms of the profile that you have as customers, you can actually access an account for as low as 200 shillings a month. Within that account, you get a retrenchment cover. So what that means in the event that you lose your job, as a Stanbic um, customer, you will get paid up to three months of your gross income. Within that 200 shillings a month, we also have a life cover. On life cover, again, in the event of death, your beneficiaries will be paid up to six months of your gross income. So it is bundled, so there's the bundle for 200. Then for customers who actually want to have um, a dedicated relationship managers, or for clients who actually want to also access our private suits, we also have the private banking um, bundle solution where you can access it touch 2,000 shillings a month. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So are we looking at, um, I mean, just looking at this, the country across board, have we seen that uh, more folks or less folks over time now are really plugging in towards the, the banking arena and saying, look, we still need to use this system as a way to control finance, look for capital are we having more people still um, plugging into the system yes yes we do and what we are actually seeing is customers are actually asking for services that go beyond banking mm. so with the bundle solutions that you have is you're telling a customer so historically you'd only go to a bank to transact mm. send and receive money so we are advising customers that look we are aware that you've got things that matter to you help us we, we have a way of helping you to protect them um, you're coming to us saying that I'm looking for borrowing, but I want borrowing that actually speaks to a specific purpose. So say I have a home loan and you've come to us to say what's my trouble right now is that my electricity bills are quite high. Mm. So as Stanbic Bank, we are able to actually finance you in terms of solar financing and make that dream come into a reality. You can come to us and say, I've just started employment. I'm now at that comfortable space where the next thing I want to do is buy a car. Mm. So as Stanbic Bank, we are saying we can give you up to 100% financing for your vehicle. We can offer you the facility of up to 72 months over and above that.
that we can finance you even for the insurance of that vehicle. Then it does go to also speak to the other items where you've got customers who are coming to say, so as the proverb that was said, I've got, I'll even use shrub. So I have mm. this shrub. Mm. And my ambition is to become a millionaire. Oh, for, yes. So walk that journey with me. So we've got this proposition that you have on our saving solution where we are paying interest of up to 14% and we are calculating your interest daily. So we are not waiting until the end of the month to say this is how much interest that you have then earned. We calculate your interest daily, then we credit it to your account monthly. So you do walk that journey seeing your balance growing. Hmm. How are you able, I mean, 14% is easily one of the highest uh, uh, in the market today. How are you able to do that? Because one must ask, 14% like, is quite a you know, pretty penny on savings, no matter what it is. How are you able to do it? So as Tanbik Bank, we look at the client holistically. Mm. So we don't just say, you've come to us for a savings account. Um, the savings account rate is X. So we've managed to profile all our customers and even those who come in and say, how much more can we do with you? So if you're transacting with us, you're bringing your salary account with us, you've taken a facility with us, you're also utilizing our digital channels, you're doing your Forex with us, we then can be able to afford and give you that benefit of giving you up to 14% on your savings account balance. Okay, so it's, a, it's tied to the other operations that I would have. Um, with the bank and it's okay well as a result of that we can do you a solid by giving you a good rate yes but the person who doesn't have as much in so, terms of a plug-in also have advantage like that yes yes so it is up to 14 percent mm -hmm. but what we have done is our rates are quite competitive mm -hmm. we have tiered it in terms of the rates that we are offering mm -hmm. so balances as low as 100 shillings you do get competitive interest rates and they are quite competitive as you said mm -hmm. it's very hard to see the rates that we are offering in the market mm -hmm. yeah. okay look People are plugged into their different banking or financial institutions for whatever reason. And Stanbrick is also saying today that, you know, you can switch and come over to this side. What makes it attractive for somebody to want to make the jump to Stanbrick? Okay. So um, I think I'll start by saying the solutions that we do have are more than just banking. So switch to Stanbrick and get covered in terms of retrenchment. So get that peace of mind that if you lose your employment right now, mm. Stanbeck has a solution where you get up to three months of your gross income paid back to you to help you manage that transition. We are also saying switch to Stanbeck Bank and get life insurance in the event of your demise, then your dependents will be able to get that. We are also saying switch to Stanbeck Bank and enjoy these benefits in terms of borrowing that actually made us win that award of being the best bank to borrow. Mm. So he did start out by mentioning our proposition in terms of home loans. We have partnered with KMRC to offer Kenyans affordable housing. We are offering rates of 9.5% fixed over the term of the facility, which is up to 25 years. What we have done is we're also saying if you have a home loan in another bank, switch to Stanbic Bank and we will take it over. It can be a home loan. If you also have an unsecured loan with another bank that you have used for purposes of either construction or you possibly bought a shamba and you want to construct, Stanbic will be able to take over that facility as well. Then we are also saying switch to Stanbic Bank and enjoy digital loans. So we have a cash advance offering where we are offering our customers up to 500,000 shillings accessible on phone instantly. We are also the only bank offering unsecured loans of up to 7 million shillings accessible instantly, digitally on uh, phone. Instantly uh, means what? Instantly means you log into the app or you log into the USSD, you will see a limit that you have been pre-qualified because, again, we know you, we understand you, we've seen your transactional behavior. We pre-qualify you for a limit and it simply means you go click type in the amount that you want, and instantly it's credited into your account. Ah, uh, you've already done my risk analysis at Kilaki too, <laughs> because I'm an, an account holder, yeah. and you've done... Okay. The 9.5%, I get it now. So this is KMRC partnership. Yes. So then KMRC partnership comes with various other issues, right? Number one, up to 100, I mean, 150,000 shillings income, right? Uh, number two a house of up to, is it 10 million shillings? Do those still apply with the Stanbic home loan? 
So with the partnership we have with KMRC, we've actually obtained two lines of credit. Mm -hmm. So the line of credit that you are mentioning is where they are very particular on the criteria of income. The partnership we have with KMRC actually allows us to also be able to on lend to customers without consideration of what their income band is. So even if your income band is beyond the 150,000, you are able to access um, the financing with KMRC. We do have such facilities within our space. The maximum loan amount that you have said is rightfully 10.5 million shillings, but I think what I do need to mention is that the cap is on the loan amount, mm -hmm. not the value of the house. So what does that mean? Mm -hmm. If you've identified a house of, say, 15 million shillings, if you can get funding or to get you to the 10.5 million, then we will be able to take over the 10.5 million shillings and below under the affordable housing terms. I see. Can I come to you for the other 4.5? Yes, you can. You can come to us for can the other... Can we bundle it together so that I enjoy 9.5% for the entire 15 million? So what we we'll do? So KMRC is only refinancing up to 10.5 million shillings. Yes. So the balance of that 4.5 million shillings, you can come to us, and we can finance you in two ways. You can either accept it as an secured facility, the one I spoke about, digitally accessible loan phone, and it's instant. You can also access it under your vehicle and asset financing, where we do refinance loans, ideally logbook loans. So you come and say, I've got this logbook. Um, can you be able to also be, um, lend me based on this amount? So we can also finance you on that. That's brilliant. And the tenure is up to 25 years. Yes. And it stays fixed for 9.5%. Yes, Please is. explain what that means, that it stays fixed throughout the tenure of the loan. Explain. Okay. Um, you did start out by mentioning clients receive letters from commercial banks saying your loan has gone up by 100 pips, your loan has mm. gone up by 2%, 3%, and there's always an explanation or you're told CBR has risen, therefore your loan needs to be repriced. We are operating in a rising rate environment. The partnership that you have with KMRC is actually giving the customer the peace of mind of knowing that when I get into this arrangement, regardless of what is happening on the macro environment, I have locked in my rate. It will remain at 9.5% fixed for the entire life of the loan. Mm. Yeah. All right. So because of that pre-existing partnership, then you can be guaranteed that no matter what announcement is going to be made in the future, that you will still remain at that rate. So you can rest easy. So yes. it's been pre pre-done mm. okay. before we take the break tell somebody why or how the process of, of migrating their current loan to Stanbic. okay it's very easy so the first thing you need to do is switch in terms of your transactional account to Stanbic bank or open a transactional account you just need to log in to the Stanbic bank website you click on switch i'd mentioned you only need your national id and your photo or a phone that can take a selfie you'll then be able to open a transactional account once the account has been opened our agents will also contact you either through the relationship managers or through the branch and have a discussion with you to see what else can we offer you more than banking and that is where the conversations will happen on how then do we also buy off your facilities from other institutions. Nelly Waidaka is the head of products personal and private banking at Stanbic Bank Kenya, your partner of choice. They're saying make the switch today and there are various reasons why you can do that. One, you open a savings account, you can earn up to 14% interest per annum calculated daily. Um, you have a home loan somewhere and so you, it's attracting those insane interest rates. You can actually take over your home loan and they will buy it. And now you start operating with a home loan of 9.5% fixed for the remainder of your term, or you can even extend it up to 25 years. You put in money today into your account, transactional account, you're directing your salary there, you open a savings account there, you put in at least 50,000 shillings, you get into a draw and you can win up to a million bob. Hey, hey. So you... You, are, you have you have the dong with you. You have been awarded the best uh, bank in, when it comes to um, loans, right? And you also offer the unsecured loans. I assume the one the thing that you want for the unsecured loan is my pay slip, just to see, right? That I have a regular income. Mm. So once I've taken an unsecured loan and uh, I'm paying, I get retrenched halfway through the tenure of the loan. What happens? Okay. 
So um, part of the reason we're actually encouraging customers to switch is because of these additional benefits that you have on our accounts. So I did mention um, our entry point account where you pay 200 shillings a month. What that says is in the event you have a retrenchment, for three months um, the cover will take care of your gross income to cover for all the expenses that you will have as you look for another job. In addition, if you take that um, policy, there's also the life cover included in it, where in the event you actually pass away, the beneficiary that you have listed will get up to six months of your gross income. And that applies across all the propositions that we have for our customers. So the same applies for also executive banking and also for private banking, where we offer these extended benefits. Mm. So if I had taken a million shillings unsecured loan and um, I had paid up to 250,000 shillings, then I've lost my job, what happens? Are you going to come after me for the other 750? Are you going to go after my insurance for the three months and take it all so that it pays your loan? What? What happens here? Okay. We actually encourage customers to talk to us, especially if you have any situation that changes in terms of your economic um, cash flows. So the example that you've given in the event you're retrenched, what happens? Um, we encourage our customers immediately speak to your relationship manager or go to your branch. Then we can activate the policy that we have. In terms of your funding, as a bank, we also do listen to our customers and offer restructure um, facilities. On restructure, there are various options that we have and again it depends with the specific client and the specific need that they do have. There are customers who come to us and say my cash flows have changed is there a way I can maintain the same installment but extend the tenor so we do accommodate those conversations. There are customers who come to us um, and give the example that you've given I've lost my employment. Is there a way you can give me a moratorium where say for a certain number of months as I sort out my situation I can possibly only be paying interest and I get a moratorium on principle. Then you also have customers who come to us and say, I've got so many loans, I feel overwhelmed. Please guide me. How do I consolidate? So in those situations, we also accommodate customers in terms of consolidation of debt. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, this is interesting because it does then come from a place where um, a lot of folks are saying, okay, well, this just seems to be a praying culture. Praying, I don't mean praying but praying as in coming after you mm. when uh, <laughs> things have pray, gone pray or pray pray <laughs> p-r-e-y as opposed to p-r-a-y -A -Y, because mm. if it was just praying we would be fine right mm -hmm. but look it, um to say that there's an understanding really is there an understanding when it comes to bank customer ct always says look come in and have a talk to people let them know exactly what the problem is and if there is one we'll see how we can solve it so is it that stance that has been taken that no matter what come in have a conversation because there are many questions that folks are asking even this morning and saying okay so what look what if i am really in a rut and things are terrible and i'm still coming and saying well, let me have a, a conversation with stanbeck and you're really gonna walk me through or is it just a way to rope me into open the account will you actually we, we will <laughs> we will walk you through and i can give um, a number of examples on how we've supported our customers so um during covid we actually did support our customers with restructures mm -hmm. their clients who actually enjoyed moratoriums full moratorium both on principal and interest for three months, some based on their situation six months, some even going to an extent of nine months. We do have situations where we have supported our customers on debt consolidation. Mm -hmm. When we are having this discussion on debt consolidation, there's a program that we actually run called Financial Fitness Academies. Mm -hmm. So we can do that either in a group or we also invite our customers to log in on our webinars where we talk to clients on why isn't it important to have a budget? How do you budget? Mm. Um, how do you actually save? Um, how do you invest? And we also have those conversations of advising them what is good debt, what is bad debt, what should you be looking out when you are actually borrowing. So those examples are there. Um, recently, when even taxes went up, we did also accommodate our customers where we sent them um, actually notices advising them, talk to us. Mm. If you need a moratorium, mm. we do have testimonials from our customers where we have actually accommodated them in these situations. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Is it a guarantee or must I come and talk to you and must I have a good relationship manager? <laughs> <laughs> so um, you don't even actually, I wouldn't say you have to have a good relationship manager. You can actually walk into any branch. 
when I say talk to us, it's because you are the one who actually understands your financial situation best. Mm. And it's unique to every individual. So as I've mentioned in terms of the restructures that we have, you have clients who actually come and say, I can only afford paying X amount from the installment that I pay. And we do accommodate those requests. Okay. We hear a lot nowadays of banks talking about insurance. And you as Stanbic as well, you have these products. You have a, a retrenchment insurance, which also has a life insurance in it. How are banks offering insurance services? Okay. So we've embedded it to become part of the bundled solution that we have. There's an exciting um, insurance solution that we've actually recently taken to market. It's called Flexi Protect. Um, I think Kenyans don't like talking about death, but we are told that the only two things that are guaranteed in life are death and taxes. So what <laughs> what we have done <laughs> is to say... Um, and one leads to the other. <laughs> <laughs> Decide which one. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So what we have done is we've got a solution that then says allow us to take away that burden of planning for a funeral either for yourself or your loved ones under the Flexi Protect. How this solution is different from what market offers. So market offers a funeral cover for nuclear families. So what we've come up with is we are allowing inclusion of up to 22 family members. We are aware 22. Uh -uh. So we are That's aware. <laughs> no, we are aware that as Kenyans, you're not just thinking of nuclear. So you've got your parents, you have your parents-in-laws, you have your siblings, and you've got your uh, uncles, cousins that you would want to include it. The exciting thing about this solution is that the monthly premium is as low as 500 shillings. Then what we are offering is we'll take care of the funeral expenses. We are aware that as a funeral is being planned, there are associated expenses. So that cover also takes care of the newspaper advertisement that will go out. We are aware that um, you'll need airtime because there'll be a lot of communication that is happening. So we also take care of the airtime cost and we also take care of the groceries that will be needed during that period. So it's basically to remove that headache of actually planning that funeral and to have it covered under this policy. So it's a package I choose I tick boxes. Yes. Well, I'm Maziwa, Matanga and all those things, but your airtime. Yeah. Yes. So you it again also accessible on our website. You mm. go, you say that you do want this funeral cover, you list the number of members that you want to include, and then you go ahead and pick the benefits that you want. And the twenty two don't have to be my close relatives. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. As Ocean is asking, can I pick and choose mm. the people I want to refer to as my relatives? <laughs> so you, you you will you you do get to select who you Including that list. But up to to yeah, yeah, yeah. market. Join my list. Can I see yours? Nikona wa to eighteen. So you may back in a facility. Yeah, I'm in my power city. Something I want to ask: What happens to people who have dormant accounts? So, um, for clients who have dormant accounts, we do actively engage them in terms of just finding out, so how come you're not using your account? Is it that you're not happy? Is it a service issue? Or is it something that you needed from the account that was not done? So, we proactively manage those. For purposes of this campaign, if you have a dormant account, all you need to do is then again, if you're an existing client, top up that account with at least a minimum of 50,000 shillings and you will be accessible to the draw of winning up to 1 million shillings. Mm. Yes. Something that has always interested me when I was young, it didn't concern me, now it does. Is there an age limit to this activation? When you're opening an account, mm. no, there's no age limit. Don't worry, that's question number one. Question number two, accessing a loan. Is there an age limit? Eh. So what happens when you're accessing a loan? Um, there's also, we do also consider the insurance. Mm. So um, you are covered for life insurance up to the age of 80 years. Eight zero. Yeah, up to the age of 80 years. <laughs> this bank is old, it understands age. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I finished my question. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. What would re what lead people to have dormant accounts? So, um, when we speak to clients, just to understand possibly why has your account gone dormant. Mm. There is the issue around knowledge gap. So possibly they were not aware of the services that they can access. 
Um, there's also the issue around possibly we do come up with innovative solutions that they have not yet come up to speed with. So you'll possibly have a client who said, I wanted to access everything digitally. At that point when I opened my account, it was not available. So we have to constantly educate clients, advising them. Um, these are now the solutions that are available and this is what you can do digitally. This is if you need to visit um, a branch, this is who you need to talk to. If you need to speak to your relationship manager, this is who you need to speak to. What's the downside to leaving your account dormant? Mm. Um, so when you leave your account dormant, I think again I'll, I'll borrow from the proverb that has been that what you started out with. Any money that is sitting in an account not earning you anything is not growing. So there's that immediate impact. Then there's also the requirement that if you have unclaimed financial assets as a bank, we do need to then transfer them, declare them and transfer them. So if you do have funds, any amount that is lying dormant, you're actually losing the benefit of earning interest from those funds. And in the event that something happens to you and your dependents are not aware, then that is treated as an unclaimed financial asset. In a portelaire to Ivo. <laughs> so as you're asking now people to switch... What's your advice? As are you asking me to close my accounts mm -hmm. and switch to Stanbic? Or are you asking me to... Because people maybe they switch, but they leave the other account just because we are testing the waters to see whether Stanbic is actually delivering or all these things. Okay. That I come and I like the services. And I forget about the other account that I had. And it becomes dormant on the other end. And all those things that you've talked about then kick in. I'm not earning anything from it. And I will lose everything from it. And my family will not even benefit from it. Okay, so we are actually encouraging customers switch and move your entire bank into Stanbic Bank. We have a compelling proposition. We are enabling you to transact and to transact digitally. We are enabling you to borrow. We've got um, very creative solutions. We are enabling you to protect what matters to you. And we're also enabling you to invest. So we believe that switch and coming to Stanbic, you will get the full proposition and you will not miss where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the things that you mentioned, uh, um, talking about home, um, loans. Owners, home loans. So you had also mentioned that if you had an existing home loan in another uh, facility, is that one of the facilities that can be taken over? Yes. And how, how does that happen? Because you know how it is. It's really, you've done this, you've started you're mortgaging this, that. Then how are you moving over? Do you handle everything? Just say, I'm here, Nelly. I want to move. do the rest. Yes. Well, what happens? That's exactly the arrangement. So we've got um, all the third parties that are required for that transition in our panel. Mm. So we are aware that you'll need a valuation. We've got values on our panel, lawyers, we've got lawyers on our panel. So the situation will be exactly as you've mentioned. You'll come and say, I want to switch. I'm ready. This is the bank that I have a facility. Handle the takeover. And we will do the takeover for you. Okay. Yeah. But those are costs associated with this move. When I took the facility, there was valuation done by the other institution, all right, by a credible valuer. Why can't you trust the, the, um, the word of that valuer? Why do you have to do another valuation, which will be a cost? So um, I'll answer that in two ways. Mm. So we do take valuation reports of the other valuer as long as they were done in the last three years. Why the last three years is because property values go up. Again, when you come to Stanbic, we want to tell you your property value has actually gone up and you can now access on that same security an additional amount of X. So it's just to also give you that opportunity to achieve some equity from that. Okay. So what will the cost be? Let's say I'm transferring a 10 million shilling facility that uh, I've already paid for the last five years with this financial institution and I'm moving to Stanbic, but the balance is 10 million. Hmm. And my current interest is 18%. Walk so me through this. It, it depends on the loan value. So there's a scale that is used by valuers and lawyers, which again, based on the panel that you have, is actually quite um, within the competitor's um, pricing. So it does depend on loan by loan. But why we are encouraging people to switch is... In addition to the conversation we're having around pricing, even if you're not coming under affordable housing and you don't qualify for affordable housing, you're possibly coming to stand under market rates. 
what you will pick out from Stanbic is we've applied a risk-based pricing approach to our pricing. What that means is no two customers have the same interest rate. We actually ac assess your risk and we make it as transparent to you to tell you we have classified you as low risk, therefore your premium for this loan is X amount. We have classified you as medium, this is your premium. Then we also have the transparency to tell you if you have been classified as medium risk, these are the things that you need to do to move to low risk and this is how you'll actually see your loan pricing coming down. So there are those benefits. If you're on this pricing approach, again another offer that you do have is you don't pay any loan processing fee. So it's completely free. When you're given an interest rate and you've locked in, that's the only rate that you'll be paying to the bank. It's a big thing. Mm. Definitely mm. Is. When you talk about insurance, if I may ask, the what exactly are you insuring? You said someone takes a loan and there's an insurance. What exactly are we insuring? Yes. So we insure life. Mm. So to say that in the event of death, mm. then we do um, pay the beneficiaries. We also insure critical illnesses. We also insure permanent and total disability. And then we also insure retrenchment cover if you're within the working age. So what you're saying is that this cover doesn't preclude you from having to pay that loan. It simply means if something happens or your ability to pay is hampered. How exactly? For the loan side? Yes. So for the loan side, so if you're retrenched yes. and you have a loan with us, yes. so for a certain number of months, then the insurance company will come in and take care of that. If you pass away, then your beneficiaries actually do get um, ownership of their whole property. Then if you suffer from any disability or any critical illness, there's a percentage again that is paid down on the loan. Yeah. How quick a turnaround time do things happen? So we're saying switch. And when you use the word switch, one would assume like you switch a light on and everything just, you know, poof, changes. Is that what we're talking about here? Like I, I do the thing in the morning and everything moves and we are done? Or what's the turnaround time for all of these processes to take place? And there are many, isn't it? There's, the, of course, opening the account, switching your salary kind of thing. There's, you know, if, if I'm going to, you know, have Stanbrick take over a loan, how long does that take? If I'm going to say take over my home loan, how long does that take? What are the time frames around these different processes? Okay. So switching in terms of onboarding and opening an account, it's digital, mm -hmm. accessible on the website. So that would be immediate. Um, switching your, your facilities, there'll definitely be a piece where our customer um, persons or relationship managers speak to the other bank to transition the facilities. Mm -hmm. So that again, um, depending on the kind of facility, would take between a, a day to two days for vehicle and asset finance. If it's a home loan, it may take a bit longer. Mm -hmm. But even then, that does not stop you from now starting to see your salary. The moment we cite your salary and cite your transactional behavior, then you also have access to the digital loans that we have on our platform. Mm -hmm. So instantly, you start assessing your cash advance of up to 500,000 shillings. Instantly, you also start getting your limit of up to 7 million once we've cited your salary and we've seen your transactional behavior. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So I just want to continue talking about the the what you said, you're offering a bundle of services, right? Why is it important to think about a bundle of services and why should I, as somebody who's seeking banking solutions, think of it in terms of a bundle okay so we give clients the option of choosing either what you call pay as you go where you pay for every transaction or we give clients the option of going the bundling route what we've picked out is if you pick a bundled proposition it's actually cheaper for you rather than paying for every transaction and then getting to a point where I say, I now want to take retrenchment cover, going for it only. I now want to take this, going for it only. There's the benefit of having everything put in into one basket. You do enjoy the economies of scale of that proposition. Mm. Yeah. But Explain again, that, please. Um, so as I okay, so Un let's unbundle it. Unbundle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's say um, we've got you pick your entry solution. 
If you say you'll go the pay as you go route, where you pay for every transaction, it simply means that when you do a withdrawal at the ATM, you charge 30 shillings. Um, if you want to do a banker's check, you pay the fee for the banker's check. Um, if you go ahead and say, okay, now I think I've worked for a period of six months, I need to start thinking of my retrenchment, you then go ahead and talk to an insurance agent and get the retrenchment cover. Now, if you pick this option of 200 shillings a month, it's 200 bob per month, and you have all these things included within the 200 shillings. You transact, you do your ATM withdrawals, you buy your banker's check, um, you do your standing orders, you've got your retrenchment in place, you've got life cover in place. It, it always ends up being much cheaper when you do the bundle. Mm. Yeah. And it just be fixed 200. Mm. Okay, come back to the campaign. You're telling people switch, switch to stand big, and you take, you take advantage of all these things. And you even stand a chance to win. How many people are winning okay. and how often? All right. So we have up to 7 million shillings up for grabs. We are running this campaign for three months. We close on 4th of September. Um, the winners will be selected monthly. So every month we'll be awarding 20 customers. Mm. Then we will have the grand draw. In the grand draw, we will be awarding the ultimate winner. who will be getting 1 million shillings. The first runners-up will be getting 500,000. Then the, third, um, the second runners-up will be getting 300,000 shillings. 300k is the and this one now will be the grand draw those are grand draws which happens in september yes but every month there are 20 winners mm. what are they winning the, for the 20 winners the number one winner wins 200,000 shillings mm -hmm. the first runners up gets 100,000 then the second runners up gets 50,000 but you can win the monthly draw and still stand a chance to win on the grand draw okay so you're not removed yeah so city who has two accounts and now he's going to open another one <laughs> if he puts 50k in each of those he, those are three chances <laughs> it will be a draw yeah. it's it's chance yeah it's three chances of winning <laughs> yeah so do you know what i may or not I, you know one <laughs> two three is good <laughs> can you imagine if in the first month one account wins 200 mm. in the second month another account wins 100 in the third month another account wins another 200 and in the grand draw you win a, a million, million. Hey. actually what i'm thinking yes, about what's no, the that problem is, it's not a million <laughs> yeah. one one account wins a million another account wins the second prize <laughs> <laughs> You're not locking yourself out of this channel. Account one wins one million. Yes. Account two wins five hundred k. Yes. Then account three, you leave other people. Yeah. The, <laughs> you know, there's there's benefit in just having the one account. So when you have that one account, mm. the one account with the transactional deposit, that's the account will actually be assessing for your qualification for right. the loan limits. Mm. So there is benefit in that. That's the account. You're telling him to close at. the other account. <laughs> No, no, we are telling you to <laughs> no. consolidate your bank. I'm being told to put that 5,000 in the other account. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Nelly, thank you very much for joining us today. We've heard and we've understood a lot so well. Take advantage of this uh, campaign right now. Think about it. Switch. How can people talk to Stanbic? Okay, so um, you can reach us on our website. Um, we did give details on how to open the account. Mm -hmm. You can also reach us on customer care. That's customer care at standbeek.com. You can walk into any of your nearest branches or you can SMS switch to 22208. Okay, switch to 22208. That's as easy as that. Nelly Waidaka, Head of Products, Personal and Private Banking at Stanbic, has been here. She's been telling you. Make the switch today. This is the Situation Room, the only way to start your day.